Alright, so round one, we played against the Black Kid, playing his Gardevoir, Florges, basically the Fairies deck. Next up, we're playing against Admiral Snack. He beat Lucas R. Morris. Morris? Uh, round one. And uh, let's see what happens here. Their game wasn't the longest game. It was somebody else that had a really long game. Uh, so we see a Grass and a Colorless. Now, um, if it's Verizia Genesect, usually that seems like a bad matchup, but we can load our Keldeos uh, so quickly, we can just knock out these Verizia Genesects. With this hand, we should be able to get a turn one Archie's ace in the hole. We start Keldeo. Um, and let's see here. I mean, we do have a turn one Archie's ace in the hole. Kangaskhan, Patrat, and Kangaskhan. Okay. Um, I don't know what we're playing against. We'll computer search this card. The Sycamore and Blastoise. Here we'll get a Battle Compressor. And, yep, there's a Battle Compressor. And like I said, we have a turn one Archie pretty easily here. We'll Battle Compressor. Discard the Archies. We'll discard an egg. And we'll discard another egg if it's in here. And it's always cool to discard both eggs because you get Superior for basically nothing or Ultra Ball for nothing because you have the two eggs to propagate with. So we'll discard those. Trainer's Mail. Um, get nothing. I'm just looking for Battle Compressor. Trainer's Mail for. We could get Ultra Ball. I mean, we could double propagate, get another Keldew out. So here we use abilities. Um, Propagates, these abilities, propagate, ultra ball these two way, get another Keldeo out, put that bad boy down. So we'll attach a water energy, we'll reverse seeker, and we'll get a turn one Archie's ace in the hole. There we go. So there's our Blastoise coming out to play. I'll put the town map down, and uh, I'll just end my turn. So Kangaskhan, Patrat, it doesn't seem like we're playing against a competitive, that competitive of a deck. Um, if it was, I might have rushed in, kept the other Keldy in the active spot, and then rushed in with the one with the energy, knock out a Pokemon next turn. But we see a Grass Energy go down to the Kangaskhan. We see a City Jam coming down, getting all his Pokemon plus 20 HP. And here we see a Copper Family. Now I wonder what the Grass Pokemon in his deck are. Is it something competitive, or just something for fun? Let's see what Admiral Snack here. They almost had a crazy game one. I see a Buffalo and a Snivy coming down. Okay, none, neither one of those I'm really worried about. So here we'll grab an Ultra Ball. Well, Acrobike. We're just, oh, oh, no, don't use Ultra Ball yet. Well, Acrobike. We'll grab the N. It really doesn't matter. We're going to discard both of these, the N and the Kiram. We really don't need the Kiram. Here we'll Shebe. Try to set up some. So put the Shaman down. Draw, do you have six cards here? Battle Compressor, discard some water energies. One, two, three. Okay, we will use uh, a full stone on the Blastoise. Put a Shaman down. Oh, we should have put the water energy down first. That's misplay my part. But let's see here. How much damage will we do turn one to any Pokemon? We get a water energy. A uh, water energy. Another water energy. Okay. And here we'll use um, Propagate. We'll use Propagate. I wish they'd fix that egg problem. Um, here we're superior these two water away. Get three water energies. So we start Delusion. Uh, right now we'll do a 130, a 150, 170, and 190. So 190 turn two. Uh, we're, we're mainly knocking out anything uh, besides like a Whaler DX. Uh, we'll just grab a Battle Compressor and a Burst Seeker. Oh, we can only grab one, one card. And now I'm just going to Seeker Sword every turn. We'll eventually just win this game, hitting for 190 over and over again. Maybe I'll try to get all 11 energies on the Keldeo. We don't have any prize, and that could be something cute we could do. Here we see a Chan drawing three cards. But the only problem about that is we might deck out because he's not playing the EEXs. So it's going to take us a while to knock out his Pokemon. I uh, see a Random Receiver, get another Tierno. I see another Kangaskhan come down. And what is he going to do here? Uh, what we could do is we could be mean, and every time he puts the energy down, we could try to Lysander it up to knock it out. Um, that seems like a fun play to do. Do we have Lysander discarded yet? We don't. Okay. Let's do Admiral Snack. He, has, he hasn't touched the energy yet, and I know he has to have at least one in his hand. The question is, where is it going to go to? Um, no matter where he puts the energy, though, we can easily knock out these baby Pokemon. Here we see a Megaphone getting rid of our Floatstone. Not that big of a deal. We see a Wildjaw come down. Hypnoblast, we're asleep, psych up, um, it does 30 more damage next turn. The sleep doesn't matter because we can rush in and rush in to heal off the uh, sleep. Okay. 
just waiting. On, so he puts a DC on the Snivy and Hero Pass. So like I said, we'll just Battle Compressor. We'll discard the Lysander. Where is it at? Discard Lysander, Arches, Ace, and Hole. And yeah, that should be... It doesn't really matter what we discard. Uh, Verse Seeker here. We'll get a Lysander. We'll just totally just like crush his dreams. We'll bring up the Snivy here. Here we'll seek a sword for 190. Not gonna have Snivy. We'll take the other Verse Seeker so that way once again if he puts down another Pokemon or attaches energy, we can just knock it out uh, with the Verse Seeker. We've played one, two. We've played two Verse Seekers, uh, one in our hand and one left in the deck. Here we see Ashana getting five cards or shelf on his hand. Does that can get five cards? See another patch out come down. We we'll see a DC go here. And he can't hit us for 20. Or we're, we're asleep. Oh no, what will we do? I guess we'll have to rush in and then rush in, attach an energy, and then Seeker Sword again. There we go. 210. Uh, we'll take the Hacker Bike. Just in case he ends us, we can Echo Bike and draw more cards. Uh, we see Kangas Khan come to spot here. We see a Charon. He's drawn three cards here. It just kind of. That it kind of stinks that our round two is not against a, uh, it's a fairly competitive deck. Uh, we see another Snivy coming down. We see energy going down to Snivy, and we'll probably just see a pass. Yep. So our turn here, we'll verse Seeker. We'll grab the Lysander, and we top deck the Drachi too, so we can Drachi for the other Lysander. Here, we'll Seeker Sword knocking out the Snivy. Uh, we'll take a Float Stone. I guess you could take a Battle Compressor to thin out our deck some. Um, but we've only played one Lysander, so we have one more left in the deck. We can drop the Jirachi, and we see a pass on our opponent here. Uh, here we will Seeker Sword, knocking him out. I'll take the Battle Compressor. We pretty much won the game here. Um, I want to try to get all 11 energies on my Pokemon, on my Caladio. I wonder if my opponent will let me do this. Battle Compressor, we'll discard some more water energies. One, two, three. Oh, not Caladio. The water energy. We'll superior, discard these two, get the three water energies. And this way, you can actually knock out a whale order with this attack. There's one, two, and three. This should hit for 270, if I remember correctly. There you go, 270. That knocks out a whale order with the hard charm. So this deck can uh, one shot a whale order, which is pretty cool there. But hopefully, you enjoyed this round. I know it wasn't that serious, but we still got to turn with Archies, which is always pretty cool. But uh, the next round of the tournament begins here at 60 seconds, so I'll see you here in a second.